What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 leak video and this one is bigger than the last. Now if you did miss my last video, I spoke about 14 new exotics, the tower returning, Zer and so much more. That video you will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out but I will warn you, like this one, it contains many many spoilers and if spoilers are not what you want then I suggest you guys leave this video right here right now. Also guys, on this video I am giving away a Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game exclusive gear code to win simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment okay so today within this video i have the name of every single exotic in the game every strike every lost sector and every single campaign mission now i ain't going to show any pictures i ain't going to show any locations or anything like that i'm just going to name off the exotics name off the strikes name off the lost sectors and name off the campaign mission names so let's get into it. I'm going to start with exotic weapons and we're going to start with kinetic weapons. And the first one is a big one, people. Yes, the Mira Multitool is making a return. My favorite exotic scout in the game by an absolute mile is making a return to part two. Absolutely epic. We then have a weapon called the Stern. We have Rat King. We have Sweet Business, which is the one Titan's got to use within the beta. And then we have Vigilance Wing, which is that epic looking five round burst of size weapon. Energy weapons, we have the Hard Light, which if you didn't know, you can actually change this thing's burn type whenever you want. We have Fighting Lion, Risk Runner, which is the SMG Warlock's got to use within the beta. We have the Graviton Lance, which is that epic looking Pulse Rifle. We have Skyburner's Oaf and we have Sunshot, which is the hand cannon Hunter's got to use within the beta. Power weapons, we've got the Cold Heart, which you guys know you get for pre-order in the game. We have the Darcy, the Merciless, the Legend of Acrius, the Prospector, the Tractor Cannon, which sounds immense. And we have the Wardcliffe Coil, which is previously known as a uh, Dubious Volley. We're going to move on to armors now. We're going to start with the Titans. Helmets, we have the Insurmountable School Fort, making a return from Destiny 1. And we have the Mask of the Quiet One, which sounds epic. Gauntlets, we have the ACD slash the Your Feedback Fence, again making a return from Destiny 1. We have the Doomfang Pauldrons, and we also have the Synthro Seps. Chest armor, we have the Actium War Rig, the Crest of Alpha Loopy, and the Hollow Fire Heart. Legs, we have the Doom Marchers, the Lion Rampant, and the Peacekeepers. Hunter armor, helmet wise, we have the Celestial Nighthawk making a return from Destiny 1. We have the Knucklehead Radar making a return from Destiny 1, my favorite PvP exotic for the Hunter. And then we have the Fall Tracer. Gauntlets, we have the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. And we have the Young Arham Carver's Spine, again making a return from Destiny 1. Chest armor, we have the Dragon Shadow, the Lucky Raspberry, and the Raiden Flux. Leg armors, we have the Lucky Pants, the Ophius Rig, and the Stomp EE5s. Warlock armor, helmet wise, we have the Crown of Tempests. We have the Eye of Another World, which we've seen already. We have the Nezorix Sin. And we also have the School of Dire Ahamkara, making a return from Destiny 1. Gauntlets, we have the Karnstein Armlets. We have the Sun Braces, and we have the Winter's Guile. Chest armor, we have the Starfire Protocol, and the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Leg armor, we have the Lunar Faction Boots, and the Transversive Steps, making a return from Destiny 1. And those are the exotics, guys, confirmed so far within the game. Quite a lot there. I'm not even going to bother count, but there's a lot, lot there. So we're going to move on to the strikes. And the first one's called the Inverted Spire, but we know that already. We then have the Pyramidian. We have the Exodus Crash, the Arms Dealer, and the Savathun Song. Lost Sectors, and there's so many, it's unbelievable. And we're going to start with the European Dead Zone. We have the Farm, the Sojourner's Camp, Outskirts, Trussland, Salt Mines, Mavic Square, the Reservoir, the Sludge, the Dark Forest, Quarantine Sector 236, Blackened Forest, Winding Cove, the Gulch, the Tunnels, Firebase Heads, Sunken Isles, Legion's Anchor, Legion's Hold, Legion's Watch, and each and they. On the planet IO, we have the Echo Mesa, Lost Oasis, Spine Burrows, the Rupture, the Endless Gate, Pyramidian, Terror Base Charon, the Wraith Mines, War Mine Vault, JYS2, Giant Scar, and Excavation Site 2. This one's interesting. Earth, the Tower, the Last Bastion of Humanity. Epic. Moving on to the planet Titan, New Pacific Arcology, Sinking Docks, Sirens Watch, The Rig, Tidal Anchor, Solarium, Festering Halls, Abortum, and Chasm of Screams. 
Unnessus, we have the Arcadian Valley, the Artifact's Edge, the Tangle, the Chamber of Stone, the Mists, the Well of Echoes, the Watcher's Grave, the Chamber of Water, the Cistern, the Pools of Luminance, the Well of Flame, the Anchor, the Excavation Site 7, the Inverted Spire, Hollows, Glade of Echoes, EX077 Command, Sunken Cavern, Well of Giants, Exodus Black, Chamber of Sky and Prodromus Down. And those are the Lost Sectors. I told you there was loads. Now we're going to move on to Campaign and the Campaign Mission Names. The first one we all know is called Homecoming. The second one I believe that's pronounced Adia, but don't quote me on that. Then we have Spark Part 1, then Spark Part 2. Then we have Combustion, Hope, Riptide, Utopia, Looped 6, Sacrilege, Fury, Payback, Unbroken, Larceny, 1AU and Chosen. So the 17 story campaign missions in Destiny 2, which is epic. I just can't get over how many Lost Sectors there are, that's absolutely unbelievable. We've got 5 strikes to start with and a ton of exotics to obtain. So yes guys, that is it. It. Tell me down below in the comment section what you think about this leak. I will put a picture of all of these within the video description if you do want to check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And I will, as always, guys, see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.